Okay, great. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our weekly Tuesday morning chamber chats where we bring our business community together to connect, collaborate, and support one another. We have a fantastic business feature, uh, one of our chamber members, BEC Entertainment. Uh, they're a Canadian-based event agency promoting and managing live entertainment across the uh, country. The agency works to feature award-winning bands and artists from across the music spectrum. Um, as we all heard and we know that the um, uh, arts and, and music industry has been hit really hard with the pandemic because we can't have live events and music. So this is a great uh, opportunity to hear about a business that's had to, had to pivot. So we have with us founder and managing director, Bill Brooks, um, how he shares uh, the challenges through COVID-19 and what he's done with his business to bring pay-per-view music events to viewers online. And while at the same time, um, as he's trying to uh, get his business going, uh, is, is still supporting um, the artists uh, in the in the field as well. Looking forward to hearing that uh, about music heals. So, um, Bill, please, um, I pass the floor to you to uh, start your presentation and, and tell us all about what you've been up to. Thanks, Ritu. Uh, very happy to be here with everyone this morning in a presentation mode rather than a. Uh, participation mode, but we'll make it interactive, of course, because there'll be uh, questions and answers afterwards. Uh, BEC Entertainment, uh, we uh, founded the company uh, earlier this year. Uh, last year, I spent a lot of time wondering what the heck I was going to do and, you know, kind of waiting out for uh, the live side of the business to uh, happen. And of course it didn't. So towards the end of the year, I started to think, okay, maybe I've got to start to look at the online uh, presentation of uh, music. And so we, a group of us decided that we would uh, pursue it. And here we are today. If you can go to the next slide, uh, Layla, that'd be great. You know who I am, pass that one over. <laughs> So uh, everything Liverpool was uh, was uh, an outgrowth of, uh, of me making contact with the guys at the Cavern Club in uh, Liverpool and securing a major live auction item for the uh, Peace Arts Hospital Foundation. And in my discussion with them, I said, who's, who's bringing people over to International Beetle Weekend in Canada? And they said, you are. So I picked that ball up and ran with it for a couple of years. So from uh, 2018 to 2019, through those two um, International Beetle Weeks uh, events, we, we took people over to, uh, to International Beetle Week and then made sure when they came home, they were in uh, a recovery. Um, what uh, it also evolved out into was us holding bashes in here in South Surrey, White Rock, and also in Southern Ontario. We, we ran a number of them and gave away trips for two to uh, International Beetle Week. Having come out of that last, uh, at the end of uh, 2019, started to think, well, Liverpool's a little bit too uh, defined. So changed the company to British events so that we could open it up with more uh, different uh, acts that uh, represented uh, the British invasion. And we were all ready to go live uh, about a year ago and COVID hit in March. That shut all the live music down. So we were ready to go with uh, events weekly or monthly in the, the two markets, both here in BC and also in uh, Ontario. And as I said, I sat around for a, for a good chunk of last year wondering what the heck to do. Every time I was on a chamber chat, what are you doing? Oh, I'm planning for next year. And uh, so here we are. It evolved to BEC.live or BEC Entertainment. 
And of course, the BEC stands for British Events Canada, but we don't talk about that because we're now involved with all sorts of genres. So if you go to the next one. Aha. Uh -huh. So we transitioned, as I said. Currently, we're running what we call the Friday Night uh, Specials. And it actually started out as the Friday Night Concert Series. But if you watch this coming Friday, you'll see that we've now rebranded it as a special because it's not just a concert. We have uh, an interview usually with the lead person in the, in the band or the solo artist or a couple of members who are spokespersons. And even though the concert is, or their show or their concerts pre-recorded, the interview is pretty fresh. It's like within three days of us showing the, uh, the event on the Friday night. We're also proud to announce and happy to announce that starting Wednesday the 19th at eight o'clock, we'll be running Cal David's Views on the Blues show. And he's gonna bring in some of uh, his uh, peers to talk about the blues. They'll play some music, some videos, etc. And of course, Cal's background uh, oh, over the decades has been with a number of groups, everything from uh, Peter Cetera and uh, Paul Cotton to working with B.B. Um, King, etc. So we're looking forward to launching that. And it, as I say, uh, kicks off on Wednesday nights at uh, eight o'clock on the 19th will be the first show. Next one. <laughs> what we, and, and here's where it, it's very interesting how we ended up with this partnership because it, I was discussing a, uh, uh, an involvement with Music Heals, which supports music therapy programs in local communities across, across the country. And I was able to, to catch the interview of Angel Forrest, who, by the way, is up for a Juno this year. And we hope she gets it and we'll have a great uh, uh, encore show uh, which I'm planning to run on um, Friday, July 2nd, which uh, is the kickoff to our, uh, or is part of our Canada Day uh, celebrations. So I'm talking to the, uh, them, but I'm also watching uh, Angel's interview and, and she starts talking about how music was helpful to her because of some uh, um, tragic issues inside within her family that she didn't even know about. So she wrote some songs that not only help her family, but to help herself and got into talking about how the music was helping her through this, this, this tragedy. And at the same time, I'm talking about Music Heals, which has the therapy programs. So I said to her, how would you like to be the spokesperson for our program? And what we're gonna do is donate a dollar from every, every ticket purchased, uh, regardless of whether it's a, an upcoming show or a video on demand, etc. And she said, I'd be more than happy to. So I sent over a 30 minute uh, or 30 second clip for her to record. She did it on uh, uh, a cell phone, her uh, other half recorded it. And this is what it sounds like. You might want to turn the volume up on your, on your uh, speakers. Hi, I'm Angel Forrest. You may know me as an award-winning Canadian singer-songwriter, but I'm also someone who personally knows the healing power of music. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this BEC Entertainment Friday Night Concert Series show. For every $10 pay-per-view ticket purchased, BEC Entertainment will be donating $1 to Music Heals. Music Heals supports the access to music therapy programs across this big, beautiful country of ours. To find out more, please visit musicheals.ca 
And once again, thanks so much for your support. There you have it. So we, we have that announcement at the, towards the end of every uh, show that we have. And we're getting a great response, but we'll ask uh, the person we're interviewing who uh, has just, we've just watched their show, their, their concert or their watch the program, what their, what their take is on uh, the healing power of music. And most artists will come back and say, we believe that music is a very powerful tool to help people get through things, be it autism, be it uh, dementia, be it a physical uh, ailment, etc. So we're, we're quite happy to be part of this organization. And we're quite happy that uh, we can uh, take a dollar from every ticket sold and donate to them. So what's coming up next? I want to just show you our uh, our website because when you click on www.bec.live, this is what you see. So we have the upcoming shows and we have the videos on demand. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see featured bands and artists. And there's Cal's upcoming shows there. So <clears throat> our whole thing is to drive people to the website, either off Facebook or any of the other social uh, media through our email uh, blasts that go out. And oh, by the way, May <laughs> Rolling Stones uh, tribute on uh, Victoria Day weekend. A uh, great way to kick it off. So you'll see we'll have the live shows and also we promote the, um, the video on demand. We've got a uh, involvement right now with uh, The Breeze, which is uh, formerly LG1043 out of Richmond. And they uh, are, they run 30 second spots for us the week of the upcoming show. So the one running right now is the Elton John um, tribute with Elton Ron. And they help drive at least awareness, maybe not ticket sales, but they drive awareness of what's coming up every Friday. And we'll move to the next slide. So as I say, we've, we, uh, we have our Friday night specials and we've got something special for you. And that is a 50% off on tickets for upcoming shows and on uh, demand uh, videos uh, from now until the 28th. And so that'll be, if it's a $10 ticket, then it's $5. And I'm happy to do that because I, I promised way back when that I would, <laughs> I would give our chamber members a special and I'm living up to that, living up to that promise. promise. So when you uh, go in to buy a ticket, make sure you use the code SSWRC50 and you'll obtain a uh, discount. As I said, we've got uh, after the 21st, we've got uh, uh, a local Vancouver artist who we're going to uh, highlight on the 28th. So you'll uh, you'll see his uh, posting soon. What we're running. And this is very interesting because what I'm doing is I'm sourcing uh, artists for Friday nights and I have to work four and five weeks out. So I spend a lot of time talking to either them directly or through their management companies. And uh, all of them or most of them want to tour when the COVID's over and any of the bands out of the States go, hey, we haven't done Canada 
for quite a while or we've never been in Canada. So I'm talking to them about putting together tours across the country in selected markets. We'll still do the pay-per-view because uh, we'll infill the markets where they're not playing. And we'll either do it prior to or post. And we'll make sure that we grab uh, full concert videos. What we're finding is a lot of the artists have not, have not done that. The other thing is that uh, Kelly over at uh, Blue Frog, his, his primary focus is on Saturday nights. Ours is on Friday. So we, we don't compete per se. And uh, in fact, it's a, a great compliment. So uh, between the two of us. And we do it on time zones too. So uh, we have two time zones, the Eastern time zone and also the Pacific time zone. So when it's eight o'clock there, uh, the show runs and eight o'clock here, the show runs. Alrighty, I think that's about it. Next slide, thank you. Just by the by, I've been doing um, live events and concerts and dances and parties and, and sock hops uh, since I was 16 and I'm 68 now. So a few years, I've had a few years at this with a few other things in between, but that's, uh, it always seems to come back to it. Even if you're doing a sports event, there's always some kind of music tied to it. So. There you go. Questions? Awesome, Bill. Well, I'll just uh, pipe up for us. I know uh, we went to a Peace Arch um, event, the, the fundraiser event, and you had the Beatles uh, playing, and it was such a spectacular event. I know that you organized the music there, so uh, we've been at some of your events, so well done, and I'm so thrilled that you were able to, die, you know, really make a pivot here and get something going for yourselves. And We like to call it a transition. A transition, yes. <laughs> Trans well done. Okay. Great. And then we're going to try and transition back, but I will, we'll, we'll uh, do the hybrid yes. thing. Awesome. Does anybody have a quick question before we get back to our networking? We're all, I can see everybody. Maybe just a hand up if you'd like a quick uh, comment or a question. That was, uh, go ahead, Chad. Um, I know you said it's at eight o'clock and there's the Pacific time zone and Eastern time zone. Um, I put my kids to bed like at eight o'clock. So that's obviously I can't watch it right at eight. Is there a way? You need to. It's, it's you like. Watch it later. Yeah. It's like uh, Netflix. So that you, okay. can, you, can, you can pause it. You can start it. as long. You can't start it before <laughs> eight. And it, it actually stays live for you for about 48 uh, hours. Nice. And so, okay. you know, if you want to get up and grab something out of the fridge, just put it on pause, or if you have to do something else, like go and take care of the, settle down the children. So, yeah. That's good. Thank you. And all these shows are not, just so that you were clear, they're not live shows. So we're not doing live streaming of a live performance. Uh, having been in the uh, live sports and tied into TV with that, there's too many things that can go sideways. All of this is uh, pre-recorded. The whole show is pre-recorded. We have a host that intros. We have the, the host that does the interview, and his name is Barry Forward. And he also uh, uh, does the extra on the show. Awesome. Any, anyone else before we get started? Go ahead, Catherine. <laughs> Just more of a quick comment and some admiration, Bill, for your for your transition. Um, I love the fact that you've added in this music heals portion. Um, about yes. 25 years ago, I, I had some association indirectly with GF Strong and a music therapy program that was set up there. And oh my goodness, the difference it made in, in some of the lives of people who couldn't otherwise communicate, uh, just having the music therapy program. So it's it, I know it must have been awful last year after you had the whole year planned out. Like obviously, I'm, I can't I overstate. <laughs> What's that? I said I needed music therapy. Yeah, probably. But um, maybe this is a direction that uh, you were meant to go because, man, I, I believe you'll do a lot of good with this. So so thanks for that. Thanks, Catherine. Great. Right. I'll just, just one little Ramona, 
Sorry, go ahead. If I can just make one little point. Jerry Lopez from uh, Santa Fe Fat City Horns, they start their shows and he, they, he talks about the healing. You're at a show and the healing power. This was unprompted, by the way. We didn't talk about music heals. And then at the end, we say, well, what do you think music heal, you know, about music heals and the, the healing power? And he goes, we're really not musicians. We're actually healers. Wow. You know, they, 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 take, they go into their show. He goes, I don't care what mood you come in with. We want you to go home happier than when, when you came in. Yeah. Yeah. Well okay. done. Thanks. So just really quickly, okay. Ramona, and then Ritu, and then we'll go back to the networking because we have very little, little time to go around the room again. Go ahead, Ramona. Yeah, Bill just covered almost what I was going to say, but research has shown that uh, older people with dementia and indeed with Alzheimer's, heaven forbid, music is, is great, great therapy because uh, especially the music that they remember, like the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, it just makes everybody light up. And I'm sure that Roman um, agrees because all, all um, retirement residences and care homes and long-term care, they all have a lot of the music going on and it's really, really quite wonderful. So thanks, Bill, for what you're doing. It's great. I, I should mention it's just not me. There's a team of us. There's uh, Billy, Billy, the other Bill Brooks, who's a keyboard player with the Ocean Park Whalers, but he also goes in when, when allowed and plays in seniors, uh, villas, etc. cetera. And, uh, but Billy does all the production and the editing and whatnot. And then we've got a couple of people who handle our social uh, media and another person who's helping me source uh, talent. So awesome. The team is a team sport. <laughs> yes. I'm sure there's a lot of people involved. Fabulous. So Ritu real quick, and then we'll move on. Really quick, yeah, I think, um, am I echoing? One second here. Okay, uh, just mental health has been such a issue uh, through the pandemic. So I really challenge everyone actually to plug into these concerts, um, you know, because it makes a difference at every age, any age to be able to hear great music. Uh, and seek out the opportunities in our communities of other groups that are doing it. Bill mentioned uh, Blue Frog Studios as well. So, um, and they're giving back to the community. So look out for those concerts and please support yourself through it, but support them and the musicians that they're supporting and share it within your networks. Definitely. And so that, and again, thank you so much, Bill. That's awesome. I'm so glad that you're back on track.